Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Don Mecca. And have you ever wondered what happens if the earth stopped spinning just immediately right now? Would everything just move along the same or would it be massive havoc? And destruction well in today's video we're gonna find that out it's a video from xkcd's what if channel and it's called what if earth suddenly stopped spinning if you're into watching reactions to fascinating videos from the web make sure you like and subscribe we're on the road to 100 subscribers so your support would be everything thank you for watching and let's get right into this video what if the earth stops Spinning. This is a question from Andrew who asks, What would happen if the Earth and all terrestrial objects suddenly stopped spinning, but the atmosphere I don't think anything good would happen. <laughs> atmosphere retained its velocity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's another layer to it. If the atmosphere continues to spin at the same rate while the Earth just stopped, wouldn't it wouldn't it just cause crazy winds? Well, first nearly everyone would die. Then <laughs> R.I.P. Humanity, number one. Then things would get interesting. Mm, if all of humanity dies, how does it get interesting? It gets pretty bad for us. At the equator, the Earth's surface is moving at about 470 meters per second. A little... Okay, 1,040 miles per hour. It's spinning like hella fast if you think about it over a thousand miles an hour relative to its axis if the earth stops and the air doesn't the air there will suddenly be moving over the surface at 470 meters per second because mm, it's not moving along together so mm, yeah yeah reference supersonic speed is 343 meters per second the wind would be highest at the equator but everyone and everything living but so all of a sudden we're gonna get supersonic winds <laughs> oh my god picture that between 42 degrees north and 42 degrees south which includes about 85 percent of the world's population mm, wow 85 percent of the population is near the equator did you know that i did not would also experience sudden supersonic winds the high winds would only last for a few minutes near the surface before friction with the ground slowed them down okay okay so it's not havoc forever at least however those few minutes would be long enough to reduce virtually all human structures to ruins even structures strong enough to survive the winds themselves would be in trouble as <laughs> apocalypse Apocalypse now. Comedian Ron White said about hurricanes, it's not that the wind is blowing, it's what the wind is blowing. Mm. If you ever watch those tornado videos and stuff like that, a lot of damage happens from the stuff that the winds pick up and just crash through other homes. Say you're in a massive bunker made out of some material which can withstand 1,000 mile per hour winds. That's good and you'd be fine if you were the only one with a bunker. Unfortunately... But, I mean, if... You have a bunker, you're not very likely to be building a bunker right next to someone else with a bunker, right? And this event happens suddenly, so you won't even get a chance to get to your bunker. Well, you probably have neighbors, and if the neighbor upwind of you has a less well-anchored bunker, your bunker will have to withstand a supersonic impact by their bunker. My home in Boston is far enough north to be just barely outside the supersonic wind zone, but the winds here would still be twice as strong as those in the most powerful real-world tornadoes. Wow. Twice as powerful as real world wind tornadoes. <laughs> yeah. Hope this scenario never happens. I don't, I don't see how it could ever just stop spinning immediately like that. Buildings would still be smashed flat. Do you guys know how that scenario could actually really happen? Could the molten core maybe start spinning the other direction all of a sudden? torn from their foundations and sent tumbling across the landscape. Winds would be lower near the poles, but no human cities are far enough from the equator to escape devastation. The highest latitude city on the planet is on the island of Svalbard in Norway, and even it would experience winds equal to those in the planet's current strongest tropical cyclones. Even so, the human race wouldn't go extinct. True, very few people above the surface would survive, the flying debris would pulverize almost everything. However, a lot of people below the surface of the ground would survive the initial event just Oh, look at all those New York Transit <laughs> subway riders surviving this sudden apocalypse. Just fine. There would be other lucky survivors, like the scientists and staff at the Amundsen Scott Research Station at the South Pole. Mm. The surface of the Earth at the South Pole isn't moving relative to the Earth's axis because it's on the axis. People Picture that. Imagine this happens and you're in this remote-ass place 
super remote place at the bottom of the planet. <laughs> and the whole world just gets kaplui. Ooh. There would simply lose contact with the outside world. They'd probably be confused until someone noticed that the sun had stopped moving across the sky. Then they'd be really confused. Back at... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the sun, if the earth is not spinning any longer, it's still orbiting, but it's not spinning. So the rotation wouldn't be 24 hours. The equator, things would get really weird. Wind sweeping over the oceans would have been churning up and atomizing the surface layer of the water. For a while, the ocean would cease to have a surface at all. It would be... What? There'd be no surface on the ocean? It'd be impossible to tell where the spray ended and the sea began. Oh, what? That is trippy. As the energy of the blasting wind began to dissipate, it would mostly go into heat. A lot of heat. Hmm. But oceans are cold. Below the thin surface layer, there are fairly uniform 4 degrees Celsius. The wind-blown spray would be heated by contact with the hot air and carried up into the layers of air still blowing above, making room for more cold spray, which would be heated and rise, and so on. The subsequent turbulent mixing would likely trigger worldwide thunderstorms over the... <sighs> Beautiful. I love me some thunderstorms, don't you? The oceans. The wind would also have momentum, which would transfer into waves, which would sweep around the globe, west to east, and every west-facing shore would encounter the largest storm surge in world history. It would be like a combination of normal wind-driven waves and a tsunami. A turbulent wall of water would flow ashore, reaching in some places many miles inland. Eventually, apocalypse. a dense blanket of fog... Freaking apocalypse. <laughs> ...fog would settle over the cold ocean surfaces. Whoever sent this question is, is a demon. Normally, this would cause global temperatures to plummet, and they would, at least on one side of the Earth. If the Earth stopped spinning completely, the normal cycles of day and night would end. The mm -hmm. sun wouldn't completely stop moving across the sky, but it would slow down a lot. As the Earth's orbit carried us in a circle, we would see the right, sun rise right. and set exactly once a year. Well, not exactly once a year. The momentum of the atmospheric winds would get transferred back to the Earth, starting it spinning again very slowly, since the atmosphere wow. is much lighter than the Earth. Yeah. Relative to the distant stars, a single spin of the Earth would now take around 3,000 years to come. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 3,000 years? 3,000 freaking years? You're going generations upon generations before your side of the country, your side of the planet gets any sunlight. Oh, goodness. Complete. So for all practical purposes, the once per orbit day that lasts a year would win out. Earth would experience six months of daylight and six months of night. On the day side, the surface would bake under the constant sunlight, while on the night side, the temperature would plummet. Although the length of the day... What are we going to do then? <laughs> are we still gonna have borders because everybody's going to the warm climate no one's no one's gonna stay in perpetual freezing cold darkness it would change the length of the month would not the moon hasn't stopped revolving around the earth mm. in fact the moon our faithful companion would act to partly undo what andrew has done remember this is all andrew's fault yeah demon andrew and clap it up for the moon continue the spin around Earth. Before Andrew, the Earth's tidal bulge created by the moon's gravity slowed down our rotation while dragging the moon into a higher orbit. Mm -hmm. After Andrew stopped the Earth's rotation, the moon's gravity would tug on the Earth and very, very, very gradually speed us up again just a little while it slowed down. Wow, the moon is going to save us. Eventually causing the Earth to spin again. Until eventually, someone could again ask, what if the Earth suddenly stopped rotating? Uh, mm. <laughs> Andrew, this is all your fault, you demon. Thank you, Moon. Thank you. Well, that was the end of that video. Very entertaining. XKCD, link in the description. If you are into these type of videos, make sure you drop a comment. Let me know if you know any other ones that I should go check out if you like these type of videos make sure you also subscribe to the channel hit a like and comment let me know your thought on this ridiculous idea don mecca out see you in the next one